Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome back. So because of all this poisoning situation I'm going through, I also have a lot of diarrhea. It causes, uh, poison causes the side effect, one of the side effects of the thallium, you can read is massive explosive diarrhea. We're not talking about your regular diarrhea. Because of that, remember I told you guys I was like on a poison diet, I lost a bunch of weight. And now it's all because of um, the, the the diarrhea, which is not a good way. I mean, I'm glad my, my stomach is getting flatter, but that's not a healthy way of losing weight. I didn't plan on that. It's just the side effect. But anyway, so they're gonna do tomorrow. They you guys heard the video. The, the lady called me earlier from the office and the um and that the endoscopy office to tell me what to do. Uh, you know, give me all the instructions and stuff. I have it right here on what to do. All these are kept here because I want to show you guys these things. But she said, um, you know, to prep. You know, you're supposed to prep. Anybody that's had this is my first colonoscopy, guys. You know, usually age 50 and up is when they start. But because of my situation, my poisoning situation, and all the diarrhea I'm having, that's why the doctor, even though I'm younger than 50, the doctor said I'm, uh, they're going to go ahead and do it. So they're doing two things. Endoscopy, which is going from the uh, mouth down to the esophagus, to your stomach, and then uh, colonoscopy, you guys know, from the anus up. You know, So both ways are going to go. So uh, And I'm supposed to prep for 24 hours. So tomorrow I'm supposed to be there at 1.30. The, the procedure will start at 2.00. So she called earlier to see if we can change the date, I mean the time, not the date, to, for me to come earlier. I said, I wish she had told me, you know, because I work for, for somebody. I have to, I, I'm, you know, I have, I have to ask my supervisor and change schedules around and all that. So I said, well, we decided to keep it at the one thirty. So anyway, and I'm supposed to only drink clear liquids, uh, ginger ale, Sprite, uh, broth. So I like fish, you know, so I made this nice soup here. It's, it's a broth. I took a can of um, this pink salmon. It's wild cut, Alaskan wild cut pink salmon. Double Q, it's called. It's a very good brand. It's thick, it really has a good meaty. I bought it from Amazon. It's not. It's inexpensive, I forgot how much I paid for it. But you buy this and you can make anything. You can make um, salmon uh, cake, I mean salmon um, sandwiches, you know, uh, uh, make them into buns, uh, into uh, what do you call, uh, patties and uh, puts whatever ingredients you want in it, make it a body, fry it or bake it, and put it in a sandwich and eat. Anything is really, really good, and I like it. I like this brand. So anyway, I just took it. I took water. I took uh, the blender. I took a, a one big onion um, and uh, one little tiny tomato because I'm not supposed to have anything red, but the tomato wasn't even red, that red. You know, tomato, real tomato, um, uh, the, the vegetable. And I took that and I took my habaneros a little bit. I know I cannot do the habaneros. All Africans out there, they can relate to me. But well, most uh, people of color, we like um, spicy foods. So anyway, I put a little bit, I blended it, and then I put it in the pot. And then I just opened this, I dumped it right on top of it. And added water and just let it boil. After it boiled, you know, and then I just added some, um, uh, this is like beef, bi uh, brion or something, they call it. Bo uh, brion, boulon. Boulon, beef boulon. It's just like Maggi. We call it Maggi in Africa. Just, you know, it's just a, a, a seasoning. I put that and I put some uh, uh, black pepper and I put, I always like to put a little bit of thyme and a little bit of um, bay leaf. I just dropped one bay leaf in it. And it just boiled, boiled, boiled. And after that, I, I took the seed and I sift, sifted it through. So the fish and stuff remains in the pot. And here goes the broth. And it's pretty good too. Mmm. Oh my God. Delicious. Because I can go, so I put it, I just made a big bowl so I can pour it in a little bowl and then drink that. So that's what I had for lunch today. I'm going to have some for dinner too. So that's that for that, those two. That's why that's there. So then I was supposed to prep. So at 4 o'clock, I was supposed to start, take the Docolex, two, uh, two of these. I already did that at 4. So I take two of these. And then now I'm doing this. This is uh, prepping. If anybody has ever prepped for colonoscopy. Uh, I went online uh, on Google and I saw that... Um, because this is in milliliters, this big jug is a real nice jug. So because I'm gonna be drinking it all day and up to tomorrow too. So uh, within two hours, you're supposed to finish whatever you put in there, and then tomorrow within two hours you finish it. You know the instructions are all here, and I follow them by to a T. But anyway, so it, 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 I don't have it in liters, but I mean in quarts. It says to take two one quart of water or whatever liquid you want. But I when I say well, how many milliliters, because I have mine is in milliliters. Uh, in a court and it says 946 point something 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 so i'm just going to round it up to like a thousand 
So I'm gonna put my water uh, or whatever. I started putting water already. I'm gonna mix it up with some ginger ale because I don't just want this thing. I don't know if it, I've never had Marilax, but I don't think it has a taste or a good taste. So I'm gonna take. Um, I'm gonna put more water. So I'm supposed to come up to a thousand. The thousand is like on, on that mark. So I'll put more water, a little bit more, and then the rest I'll put ginger ale. This is just regular any ginger ale. This is Canada dry ginger ale. So I'll put that up to. There we go, a thousand, a thousand milliliter. The lady said the more water, the more liquid you drink, the better. So that's good. I'll let this place up a little. So I put that in it. You're supposed to put half of this. And then tomorrow you do the other half. So I don't even know how to measure half of this because I'll have to just eyeball it. See how much half of this is. Oh gosh, this is not fun. Oh. I don't think this is not gonna be fun. So I'm just gonna dump that. I've never, like I said, I've never had a colonoscopy done before. So wish me luck, guys. I'm glad I went to the dermatologist. Well, everything that's going on with me, that looks that's, that looks about half. That looks like it's good. So I put like four of that, four of that cup in there. So it may be like eight in here total. So, you know, whoever, and then I'll stir it up. I was supposed to start this, it's now 6.33. I was supposed to start drinking this from six o'clock, so I'm 30 minutes behind, oops. But this is a really good job to have. Yeah, so I'm supposed to drink this all within two hours, like every 15 minutes you take a sip, every 15 minutes for two hours. Within two hours, you're supposed to let it uh, uh, be all finished. So I like this little thing right here. I normally don't use it, but, uh, Today came in handy. So that's it. that's about it. Voila. So I'm gonna I'm prepping. Tomorrow I'll go. My son will take me because uh, you have to have a driver because they probably put you under. Yeah. So you know even this if uh, somebody I mean it's a good thing I'm gonna be making but I'll just leave the fish in it. But like I said the fish is still in the pot the, the broth. So uh, between the broth and this and Canada Dry and tea you can have teas, clear tea you know like lifting tea. And uh, but you can't have, uh, I don't think you can have coffee. I don't think coffee is on the list. It tells you everything step by step. You see all the steps, it tells you what to buy, you know. So, this is good, it tells you when to start. Put half of that I already, already earlier, so that way I know what I'm doing. Okay, so that's it, guys. Uh, I take it one day at a time, you know, the poison situation. I'm trying to get uh, you guys don't forget to subscribe, though. Subscribe, share with your friends, like the, the videos, you know. Um, because uh, I need the publicity. I need this to go out there. It's not just to help myself, help others to be to be strong, to, to not think everything is mental health. Remember I said this in the beginning? Not everything is mental health. If I had sat there and kept listening to providers saying, mental health, mental health, mental, I'm thinking, because the moment you say something, oh, I'm feeling things on my skin, oh, I'm things are dropping in my eyes, oh, I'm feeling things, I cry, they, everybody thinks, ooh, Something's wrong with her. If I had not been persistent, and if I had listened to naysayers, I would be dead by now, folks. I won't be standing in front of you giving you this advice. I'll be six feet under. They put up, could have been uh, my second uh, uh, death anniversary by now. But because I stood my grounds and because I listened to my instinct, especially women, all of us, God gave us that gut instinct. It's to use in these kind of situations. So use your gut instinct. Don't care about what people think. If you care about what people think in this world, you will not survive. Because no matter what you do, they're gonna judge you. You do good, they will judge you. You do bad, they will judge you. So you do what's best for you. What's best for you. Don't care about what's best for anybody or what anybody thinks. Do what's best for you. Trust me when I tell you this, they are going to judge you regardless. Try it. Have you ever tried being good or doing something nice for somebody? They will find a fault. You do something bad, oh, of course, that one, it, it, it goes without saying. So what do you do? You try to please them or, ple or please you. So um, my advice to you is, if something's really happening to you, and you really have that gut instinct telling you something's wrong, follow your gut instinct. And I, I'm glad I did, and we found the poison in my system. So I want the publicity on this. I want as much publicity as possible. I want the world, I want, the, I want actually, my aim is for you to get to not only the FBI, but to Washington, D.C., I could even probably be a help uh, of help to them because the people in Washington DC, the diplomats I was telling you guys about, Google it. Just Google Washington DC 
uh, uh, diplomats, American diplomats. Go on Google. You will see what comes up. Recently, CNN is doing a, a footage on, on that. because uh, An investigation, I should say, because they are poisoning. They are being poisoned, these diplomats. They don't know how. I could probably shed some light in them. Because when I looked at their symptoms, the same exact symptoms that I'm having. Only difference is I am not a diplomat. I am not a spy. I don't know what Because these are the things they do to spies and diplomats. Well, I'll tell you something. The people behind this, I'm telling you, I know I'm going to get in trouble for this, and I don't care. The military can come and arrest me today. I don't care. But I'm telling you, some of these folks that are involved in this thing are military. All I can say is my ex is military. That, and that's all I can say. Without going, without accusing anybody. Military. The people that see some of these people, the, 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 the haircuts that they have. Military. That's all I can tell you. These people have formulated their group to eliminate ex-spouses. Only God knows. But that's all I can say. You connect the dots. Uh, I don't know if I already told you guys this about the... Yes, I think I did. That my, my, my private investigator talked about uh, a guy in, that was trying to poison... A military guy. Navy guy that was trying to poison his wife. He poisoned his wife, not right to. With thallium. So the same poison that they found in me. So connect the dots. So let the military come after me. Yes. I'm saying because the people I see and I can give them proof. They look military because I know I've worked for that end of the, 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 the spectrum before. So I know how they look like. How everybody knows how they have their, their, their crew cuts or whatnot. So I know. So when I see this, I know who they are. I know the, 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 the group that they belong to. So let the military come after me. Let the FBI come after me. That's, so maybe that will shed light because in America, being black in America, nobody listens to you. You can be that. You can have proof all you want. Nobody listens to you. They, but, but let them come after me. I really want them to come after me. When they come after me, then maybe that time, they will be forced to look into my case. They will have no choice but to look into my allegations and look into my case. But anyway, for now, that's it. Don't let anybody dictate to you. You do what's right for you. You know what's best for you and you follow your gut instinct. That's all the advice I can give you for today. And until next time, we'll see each other. I'm going to be drinking this stuff now. Oh, let me taste it in front of you guys. See how it tastes. Actually, it's not bad because of the... the um, little bit of ginger ale hmm nice so you see when you're doing the next time when you have a colonoscopy test for the 50 plus year olds out there put the water and put a little bit of ginger ale mm, mm, mm. Mm. i don't taste a thing all i taste is the ginger ale i didn't even put much just a little bit all right guys so till next time don't forget subscribe share with your friends like my videos and put the bell button down so next time i, I, put, I post another video you get to see it so next time, God bless and pray for me. Keep me in your prayers. Uh, as you say in my language, Malawi. <laughs>